Well, nine to, <coughs> sorry, nine Tobagonians received awards last evening at the 2016 Chief Secretary Awards Gala, which took place at the Shore Park Cultural Complex. The gala forms the final aspect of the week-long Tobago Day celebrations, which seek to highlight not only what the Tobago House of Assembly does, but to highlight all of Tobago. It was the final time Mr. London addressed those gathered at the event in his capacity as Chief Secretary. Patricia Nicholson has the details. So Rose was the first recipient on the night. She received the Tobago Medal of Honor Gold for distinguished and outstanding service to the island in the sphere of culture Calypso. The Mighty Shadow also received a similar award that night. Eight other persons received awards in the spheres of culture, business, sports, music and public service. The THA has been celebrating Assembly Day for the past 12 years. However, in 2015, Chief Secretary London proposed the name be changed from Assembly Day to Tobago Day. We made a decision to celebrate Tobago Day because we felt that we had to move away from the focus only on the institution and focus on the island and focus on its people. Mr. London said it's a period when Tobagonians can reflect and chart the way forward for the island. That this is a period when we as Tobagonians can take pride in our heritage, we can reflect on our challenges and setbacks, and of course we can celebrate our triumphs and our heroes. And we are celebrating some of our heroes this evening. Kishon Jack, one of the entertainers of the night after performing several of the songs, decided to bring the curtains down with one of Calypso Rose's more popular tunes, Fire in Mawaya. And down came the Queen of Calypso herself. She sent the almost timid crowd into a frenzy. <laughs> Patricia Nicholson for C News.